So a few people have been asking me what GTA 5 is like on the new generation of consoles, so I just thought I'd make a quick little review video going over some of the improvements and differences that I've noticed within GTA Online. Please do keep in mind that neither the PS5 or the Xbox Series consoles have received some sort of announcement update. Both of the consoles are running GTA 5 through backwards compatibility, so that means the PS5 is running the PS4 version of the game and the Xbox Series consoles are running the Xbox One version of the game. The expanded and enhanced version of GTA 5 will be arriving on next gen consoles at some point next year. Now the first thing I want to talk about is the frame rate in this game. Now unlike the GTA 4 gameplay that I uploaded the other day, GTA 5 does not run in 60fps. I've had a few people ask me that, but the game is capped at 30 so there's no way it's going to do 60fps. Now all the consoles are more than capable of doing 60fps but like I was saying they're running the game through backwards compatibility. However, I have been playing GTA 5 on the Series X and so far I don't think I've noticed any sort of frame drops at all. On all the previous generation of consoles you would experience some sort of frame drops now and again in various different areas of the game. If you thought that was an issue, then you'll be glad to know that that seems to be no longer a problem on the new consoles. Now I would say the big thing about playing GTA 5 on the new generation of consoles is definitely the load times. Just look how quick you can load up the game, you can go from your dashboard into the game in around 30 or 40 seconds or so. And the the loading screen that you used to waiting on for about two minutes or so, that's that basically disappears. You can also load the game up much faster on PlayStation as well, however I think PlayStation might take you a tiny bit longer to load the game up, but it's it doesn't really make a difference, it still loads up really really quick. So I have put a fair bit of time into GTA 5 on the Xbox Series X and I've got to mention that I have noticed an improvement to load times across the board. I've been playing a few ice in GTA Online and I have noticed I've been spawning in quicker. I've also been spawning in quicker than my teammates that are playing on an Xbox One. It's also similar for any other activities in the game. It's nice to see a big improvement to the load times on this game because to me the load times have always been annoying on this game. It does take a really long time to load up the game on PS4 and Xbox One, so it's really nice to see that the new consoles drastically improve them. Loading into online might be the same if your connection isn't too great, but for me it took about 20 seconds quicker to get into an invite only lobby, so please do take that into consideration. Now I just want to mention that the quick resume feature on Xbox while you're connected to GTA Online will kick you out of the online mode and return you to the single player. I know it's fairly obvious but I just thought I'd mention it. Now if you're wondering about the new features in the PlayStation controller, they don't work because you're playing the PS4 version of the game. That might be something that Rockstar will introduce into the expanded and enhanced version of the game. But for now, the new features in the PS5 controller do not work. Now a few people have been asking me does the game look better but I've got to say there's barely any difference in it. The colours might look a bit different but that could be just down to the fact that you're using a different HDMI cable. Now I know on the Xbox on some older titles, the Xbox will actually enable HDR automatically to the game without receiving any update for that game, but I'm not sure what's going on in GCA because I don't have an HDR display so I can't answer you that. If you're looking for visual improvements and more performance improvements, they'll most likely be coming with the expanded and enhanced version of the game next year. I would like to see the game running at 60fps in that version of the game. Let me know what you want to see in that next gen version of the game in the comment section down below. So I think that's all I've got to mention in this video. I just thought I'd make it because a few people have been asking me in live streams if I've noticed any difference in GTA 5. And now because I put a few hours into the game thanks to the ice challenge I'm able to make a video on it because I can probably talk about everything that I've noticed so far. If you did enjoy the video feel free to leave a like, subscribe and put notifications on to see more videos from me. I also do a few live streams so if that's your thing, you know what to do. Until next time guys, goodbye.